Hello, how's it going people YouTube and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another PGA Tour, uh, EA Sports PGA Tour video, uh, career mode, so we are playing the Genesis Invitational and um, I actually got some uh, comments again from a guy that actually comments quite a lot, uh, he was talking about um, having your skill set, in fact I'll just go into my skill set, if and I think this would actually be quite good. I would quite like to have a, like a normal um, skill set and a career mode skill set, i.e. your career mode skill set is separate from, from your, your, like your main character. You can switch it. So if you're playing career mode, it will automatically go into that skill set. Because I'd quite like to have like a lot of this stuff. Like I think I've got... I've actually got four points to put in a... Um, like one of these, but I'd actually quite like to have some of these down quite a lot and have it more difficult. But because you play on, I mean, I don't play online as much as what I used to. Um, but, you know, if you don't have the skill set here, you're, you're kind of down in, in like a lot of uh, attributes and stuff. But for my career mode, I usually do it in equipment. So my equipment boosts are not that much. So, for instance, the driver here, we've got a... Uh, we've got a green, um, I think this is a, an accuracy. So power there, 61. So we're not, we, we don't have good control or recovery. But we can only use green, I think, next year, or like season three, I'll be able to use blue. And then I believe it's purple, then um, gold, or yellow. I think it's gold. Um, so that's that's what, that's the way I've, I've been going. Um, so... Anyway, just a little sidetracks. I think all these have have got like the the green setting. Yeah, there's a new signature spec cordal. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's go on with the clear mode. So clear mode. Um, we've actually been playing against Tony Finau. I think we've played all three rounds with him. Tony Finau had a had a bit of a a really good round on what the third round. I think he's, I think he's a few shots ahead. So I'm actually going to put this down a little bit. Now he's either going to go to like eighty or maybe even seventy five. Do you know? I don't want to do that and then like he wins. Wait, let's go eighty. So let's change that and let's go into it. Now I don't think we're going to win. Unless, unless Tony, I mean, Tony Finau is a, a 90 rated. We're actually 87. Right. One to two mile an hour, so it's pretty uh, pretty low wins. But I've, I've felt the last couple of rounds that, EA you know, I, I think it would be PGA nice to be competitive. So proud like, to I don't mind losing, but, you know, when you're losing by like six, seven FedEx strokes, Cup. it's a little bit too much. From the LA suburb of Pacific Palisades and Riviera Country Club, it's final round coverage of the Genesis yeah, Invitation. Yeah, seven shots clear. <laughs> what a week and weekend this um, has been so far. So we're just fighting for second place, really. Unless the we go off to a really hot start in 23 now. As you take a look at the Which current could possibly happen, he's not Sunday like the afternoon. highest rated uh, player. On top, it's Tony Finau. If he he's falls off the cliff, he's at 25 under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, probably relegated to also ran status, entering play here of right, we're going to go power drive here. Off the pace. Although I don't know if we're going to make it over. Mind you, the wind's very low, isn't it? Oh, it's looking to the left. He's probably going to be in trouble. Ooh, almost get out. Ooh, and a tough start enough. to the morning could be, here. Could be that trouble. Bit wild and into some early trouble. So yeah, um, what we'll probably do is the next tournament. I'll see how this round goes. I'll kind of can do a comparison of twenty three hours with my round, and then we'll go from there. Whether we tweak it down a little bit more. Um. If need be, we can always put it back up after the first the round. To get this round of the next started. tournament. I kind of, it'd be quite now nice to get into the stretch, this, like nip and tuck. I mean, for the first tournament, to the par five. we kind of had a little bit of a lead. And then we, I think the last hole, we, I think we had, I think we hit into the water. 
somewhere. Um, and I think it made it a little bit closer than really what it was. A birdie to start the round. Right, not often you start on a par five, and not often you reach the green in two or have an eagle putt. Sounded quite a good this shot. This one's looking good. Oh, baby. It's all over it. Could be a very easy uh, eagle. That is a marvelous shot. Look at that. For us to win today, we're going to have to shoot. Like, You're happy to just be home. I mean, we probably have to be touching feet away. You take your two putts and move on. Basically, uh, like here a 50, you're thinking 59. about eagle getting out of there with a three. Yeah, just imagine if he can roll this one. Now there you go. Well played hole it will be. I think. Sit in the cat I think sometimes right the, the AI golf shots are quite now good. There's quite a good balance, and then sometimes it's like just. Like they're just way too much. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to hold every single shot here, but... but is, is it down? That's uphill a little. Oh, yeah. Can we do match, uh, Tony? So it will be interesting to see how Tony plays. Like... I mean, you know, still got a seven shot lead. Next up, the number one handicap holder, Riviera, the four. At the end of the day, I, I don't want to win every single tournament. I want to be. The prevailing ocean breeze I want to be competing, that which I think we have been. I think at the start of the season, I think we've actually been really pretty good. But the same tone, I don't want to be dominating and winning every single tournament. will do just fine. Oh, I tell you, my foot's sore. I've got a bit of a, a, a foot issue at the moment. Start my shift. I imagine taking painkillers as well to get me through my shift. The, right the end of my side. shift there, it was so painful in my foot. So I'm kind of resting at the moment. I'm letting it dry out a little because my foot it doesn't sweat but there's a little bit of moisture and then I'm probably going to steep my foot and then go from there is it not a bad shot from Tony is it, is it short it's not bad I'm interested to see if he holds this you know it could maybe set the stall for shooting a low score Right, it's a yellow up, which is, um, I mean, that looks 15-ish. Um, let's maybe go, let's just go 178. Do you know what? We should actually go with uh, finesse. Finesse is going to be better. Prefer the backstop with get down ball. It's too long. Jeez, I, I thought with that been uphill. Well, had a good look at the green, but <sighs> couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Right, I do believe this is going to be. Yeah, it's not dead downhill that much. Um. I still prefer the pitch at this kind of scenario. I think it's a, I think it's a good call. I had a chance. I had a chance. Now let's see what Tony does. Birdie putt coming up, and we go. It'd be nice to, 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 to win and this, this is a long and come way back and really play well. On here. Fairly level Get overall, a bit of excitement. Not much movement to speak of. Nice shot. Okay. See, that's where if, we, if we'd got a birdie there, we'd have been, you know, we'd have pulled one back. Now a seven footer. That's a bit fun. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And he'll stay at 20 under. So somebody actually commented, I just I just read it this morning, uh, my Gran Turismo video that I put up where I collected all the cars. Um, the so <laughs> a guy commented that right, surely please. you didn't pay stupid amount of money for that, for that, that stupid watch. And 
quick answer to that is no, I didn't. Yards, I actually, it's a Bulgari uh, watch. If you bought the watch, it's only available on the set up a good angle for that one day only to buy. Uh, if you bought the watch, I think it's at four and a half grand, four and a half thousand pounds. You got the the car to use. The car is becoming available at a later date, so I, I will get it. But no, nah, I, I I didn't like the watch. You know, I, I like quite a classy watch. I actually bought a Nomura watch Seamaster years and years ago. Watch is probably. I think I bought it way back in oh, he gets a 2000 and, and even something tells me 2004, but something also tells me it's before that. I had it. I went to Vegas that year, and I had it before that. Maybe it was 2002. So the watch itself is actually, you know, it's getting on 20 plus years, and it's just the uh, it's actually the one that was in James Bond. Oh, and it's a narrow Here's fairway Brosnan. here at three, but that'll be in a great uh, spot. It's the Seamaster Professional 300. Goodness and it's just, I mean, better. I bought that watch. The fairway, I don't mind even saying it. was £1,200, I think it cost me, back in early 2000, which is a lot of money for a watch. But that watch now, to buy that watch, I'm, I could actually sell that. I could probably sell it coming out of the gates today, beautifully. over and two grand. Another I've got the box, I've got the paper, to go I, now. I do wear it, I still wear it uh, like today, but I don't wear it as much as what I used to back in the day. But I could sell that watch, that watch has actually made money over the years. It's a beautiful looking watch. But uh, Bulgari, nah, I don't really, I don't rate it. Right, finesse, 78, it's downhill a little, maybe just take a, a little bit off it. We need to start peppering these pins. Oh, baby, 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 get, whoa, get in the hole! Ooh! Oh, look at Tony. Actually, it's too busy yapping. I didn't see Tony from else. Judged. I can see his, his marker. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Oh, please miss this. Please miss. Nah, he's got it. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. Right, how it is yet? We'll see. He we'll see if he drops off the face. Under par. Not off the cliff. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third, and he moves to twenty-one under par. Well, I've, I've got I've got a talking point well, for the next hole. I'll do it when I get to the green. Thirty-six yards, the fourth hole. And as they like to say on tour, you a good can't fake four. this one. This um, will take your best shot, and you'd be happy with a three here. I'm gonna go four iron. I'm gonna put a bit of loft on it. Just maybe hit it easy. Ah, it's tugged. It's about oh, it's long. <laughs> oh, hiccups. And that certainly not what you have in mind. That wasn't standing a good shot. Box. That never had a chance of hitting the green. Oh, I was going to say, nah, he's shot. And You've got to land it just in that fringe part. Just kill the, kill the momentum from the shot here. and then just like, the trickle onto the green. Second. Oh, that's a bit of a weird uh, chip he did, or pitch. Get up the back there. Now a second um. to this par three. I'll try to power a little. Uh, no, I'm not using the Texas wedge. I'm going to use a pitch. Maybe I'll land it a bit here. It's hard to see what it's going to do when it gets to the hole. So, right, this is this is the thing I'm this is the thing I'm going to say here, right? So we've got the overhead view. I thought this was a bug, and I couldn't get it. But I, I was press. I wasn't pressing the right buttons. So, I don't mind off the green here. Getting into this view and then looking at the, the green. So we can actually see the slope that we've got, which I think is quite good. Because you would have that information. I mean, you'd have like a little sheet, a little booklet that would tell you. But I want to maybe just see a, 
when I get to, to my putt, now obviously I've probably got a tap-in putt, so... But I want to highlight a, a feature that I'm kind of unsure about. And that is using that overhead view and getting into the, the, the green like, uh, overview. And using as a, a, an indication of the slope. Um, I'm getting to the point with this that I can tell slopes. Now, if I... Oh, that's the wrong button. If I go in here, so... I can get a, a view of the green now. I, I can see right there that it's it's well, I mean, it's always a tiny putt. It's uphill, and there's just a tiny, tiny bit of slope. And I just I just want to know. We'll maybe do it in the next hole. See what kind of putt we've got. Okay, that one finished off. Let's I'm I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence and whether I want to use 21. it or whether I want to. I I I don't know. I'm kinda on the fence. I know a lot of people don't like it. If you play Sim, it is a bogey here at four, and it'll wind up. It, I, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit. Here at the par four fifth, but I think using it, on. it is one of the personally most could be said to be worth a cheap. That canyon wall and out of bounds on the right, then you have the trees down the left. Um, but what really I don't know makes though. this I'm, whole distinctive I'm a bit, is that grass mound cutting yeah, into the fairway just short of the green. I actually had uh, one point where I could use. I think during the round I could use. I don't know. I don't know what. How many well, times I can use it, it but we had the option of turning the green grid on, shot right there. just to get and, and even the putt beads we had like, like one opportunity. Say there's a putt that, that was quite critical to, to hold, we could actually have the opportunity of putting that on just for one opportunity. I had that. That that, that was in. I, I, to driver, be honest, I never really used it. Decision to just hit the three wood off the tee. Give yourself a good look with your second shot. Down on the course, let's check in with Notabagay the third. He's got Did Tony hold that, that, that part? That actually didn't really work. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left did. side. Because I think we're half putted. Well, there's a good strike in there. Just a little left of the hole, but inside oh, I 10 feet. I don't even know. It's about 50-50 chance on the PJ Tour of making a birdie. And it's downhill a little. You need to be careful with these. Right under swing, which is maybe not going to be too bad. Yeah, I think Tony's in there, course. Look, I always looked inside that 15 feet circle, anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So, in my book, that's a good shot. And Tony to go right around six feet here for birdie. Well, I think he's going to hold this. Yeah, he's not missing much. So, oh, yeah, actually, no, he did. He got a bogey. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. Should Interesting. We for birdie. We're not, well, right, in fact, no, we actually will do it in this hole. So, here we've got a putt. Now, in Sim, Sim Land, I've got a point to degree below at, at my feet. So, that would indicate to me that there's very much, maybe just a slight like, off centre putt. So if I go into my overhead and click this, we can actually get an overview of the green with a green grid with beads. Now, I don't, I, I don't know if there's a way to switch the green grids off. I think it'd be quite helpful if there was no beads. Um, I think that would maybe not be a, like a spoiler. Um, but yeah, we can see there it's pretty much, that is straight. In fact, I'm actually going to go back to centre. But I don't... Oh, if that's one ball to the right, it's in. Instead, this that... one singes that left edge. How... Did that break that... Oh, oh dear. Okay. That that's what sometimes it's probably better. Well, yeah, mind you... I'd have missed it anyway and because I, I was aiming. Right where he is. I was aiming that side, so I'd probably have missed it even more. Okay. You don't see this too often. But yeah, do I don't you? know if there's a way to turn the, the beads off the and the have green. the grid. And usually bunkers are 
front, we're going to be um, the right, possibly might be, might, might be green cam of green the center. scout. It is one of the most unusual holes thing. in all of golf. 169 yards, the par oh, 36 here at Riviera. So we did have a shot up in there, Tony, there. Oh, I'm tired, okay, that's actually. Aboard, and it would appear that this is going to be a straightforward putt with no interference from that bunker. Thank goodness. Yeah, uphill. Mm. No, I think. I think we go six iron. I think maybe just take a bit off it. Go a bit aloft. Oh, it's sinking to the right. Mate. Be oh come off that bank. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not it's not great either. Iona's down there, she's had a good look. This for Birdie. Yeah, this is a sweeping putt from left to right. It's sweeping. gonna do that pretty much the entire way as it trundles to the hole. Oh, I didn't didn't hit it, Tony. Close. Good, good putt though, buddy. Much more on that putt. So yeah, so here we go again. Right, we've obviously got the option of chipping here. I'm probably Yeah, we can actually see the break. I I, I really don't know about this. I, I I'm I'm kinda I kinda like the idea of it. I think it's good to have some kind of indication, but as I say, I think I think the pup beads are putting me off. I could have been a bit more over, couldn't I? Ah, With all the elements of this game the have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. It was a really nice I mean, shot. It's probably going to be another top ten. Yeah, it's going to be another top ten. It's definitely a top ten finish unless I, right where he unless is. I just go absolutely like completely lose it. Um, but we're going to be top ten. Probably going to finish second. Oh my goodness! Hello! <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, we made that putt in the last hole with a with again two shots. <sighs> okay, it's a bogey here at number six, and it's going to be a rare drop shot. Moving on to the seventh, 408 right, seven hundred eight-yard par with a massive yeah, this is the one by the left stinger. side and I've a barrel right really on the right. Fairway narrow is considerably the at the two hundred and seventy-yard mark, so accuracy I'm off the tee. Again. Did that go into the bunker though before? It's actually a really good shot. Oh, don't, 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 whoa, 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 That's in the bunker. And in the bunker. that one, not going to stop in time. It'll roll all the way into the bunker. I wonder if the, uh, I know this is off topic, but the cyclocross is on. I think it's on the UCI, but I don't think we get it yeah, because we didn't. Fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this UK. hole. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Of course, the UCI is a good spot. 135 yards oh, left to the flag, pin in the middle, so it's a green light. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Hoping just to get this on somehow. His second from the fairway bunker. Don't see it. I don't know when it is. Now what we've got here? No, it's above the feet. Fuck. It's hard to see where this is. Sometimes these tend to fly a little bit longer, so I'm just going to hit it. I'm not going to really put much more in it. It's going to be a little bit short. I'm going to give Tony a really good oh, read. I'd give that an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Being in a fairway bunker and safely on the green, and you never know, might even sneak a birdie. This one measures out to 24 feet. 
So again, let's just maybe look at this because we're kind of in a position where we're not really like, you know, I don't think we're going to win, put it that way. But I would I would put this a couple inches up and probably point it above and maybe looking a bit here. Let's see what that would look. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good call, actually. It's a good call. Oh, a little bit more. It's a good line. That's but I mean, the information I get from the the ball at my feet tells me quite a lot. I mean, it doesn't tell you if it breaks yeah, looking over this one like Bertie. a double breaker. Oh my oh, goodness. Yes. Plenty of pace to get up oh, that Tony's slope. made, he's made it two bogeys. For a birdie. And he will definitely not say no to that. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. It's actually not bad. We've cleaned so and far with uh, an eagle on above this. It's not going to be good enough to win. I don't think we're... I mean, even if we were, like... Well, great design. Like a birthday blitz and, and that Riviera, eagle, but... Everyone agrees. Even then, the we have to get, like... In the world. Maybe great two behind or something. Makes you think. It gives you options. So, what do you do here yeah, I think this one would go up the other side. Yard, par four eighth. You got to go left side or right side. Take your pick. There's more room in the left side. Oh, you jammy. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't Perfect. it? And that I mean, is that was like a, a solid couple drive. inches of the side. Yeah, that's a good the, shot. The Decided to go for the right side fairway, and that's in good shape. Yeah, power drive. You need to really start smoking these now. Kind of got to go uh, all guns blazing now. It's in, it's in the fairway. Yeah. Well, that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. Okay. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just well, that's very poor from that range. Right. You just get a little bit of an overswing for this one, maybe. Not a huge. Mm, we get an underswing. I'll tell you one thing, that could be actually pretty good. Mm, spins back a little. Doesn't turn much. I'm not quite sure what that strike where the, they got it all, but it's just come up a little feet. shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Now this nota for birdie. We are uh, dead center on the read. I Gotta keep the pace up there. and get it up the hill. Yeah, Tony's, yeah, Tony's just pretty straight. Nope. Yeah, come on. See, this is where we need to make this putt. Yeah, it's a little bit. Did we do the? Yeah. It's a little bit. Come on, let's go. Yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. Come back. in for a birdie. And that means he'll get it to 22 under par. Oof, I was going to say, imagine okay, 20 misses. In for a par here at <laughs> the uh... And he'll Six stay behind. At 22 under. I mean, see if we get on a really good, like, a really good run. You no, know, we can, we can, we can now at get him within a couple. Yards, you get a look at the beautiful clubhouse but, I mean, in the distance, but yeah, don't let your mind wander from the task at hand. This is no easy hole. Bunkers line the fairway on both sides, and three more greet you up okay, near this edge of the green. Have a drive. Oh, that's a little bit to the left. Yeah, right, sorry. Yeah, it should be fine. Well, that's an excellent tee shot down the right side. It's just been punished a little bit, though, unfairly, because the hole is cut front right. Oh, there's a shot P coming. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on! Mm, nice looking drive. A little bit short, though. Ooh, bunker. 
Oh, this is a good line, and though. And that one looked good for a while, but it's going to get gobbled up by that bunker. Going to have to flight this a long way. His second out of the bunker. Hey, what can you do? Tell you one thing, that that, that whip looks quite, uh, quite high. Ooh, makes it. He actually didn't have enough club. I don't think he had enough club to get over that whip. So he's actually laid up. Which is actually not a bad, I mean, just you know, bunker should be, on the ball should be like that. Well short. Front right hole location as he prepares his second to the par four. Like how much, I had this hole, oh, the day before, and I, I played it long. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to hit this, maybe even slightly under, under swing it. Maybe not as much as that. Get up, get up. Ah, I mean, Okay, it's not yeah, bad. Really nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy. Then what it over like because I have been over the back. One good putt, maybe a bird. He is Tony. Pitching, pitching's been a bit funny. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, well done. Now right, come on, we've been a chance to claw back, get, get within five. Evidence, yeah, beautiful touch from around the green. Twelve feet still to go. You know go. what? I'm, I'm actually going to use this green grid. Yeah, it's not a water break. A little bit uphill, there's quite a lot at our feet, but it slackens off a little bit. Oh, it didn't really turn much, did it? Oh, that's annoying. That was a chance. Ah. Okay, Maybe two will four, miss. Here at the and that will be a four under. It's not bad. On side, four under par. Do you think he'll miss? Oh, day one, there's a little bit of break on it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was just going to brush by the, the right hand that side. Yeah. Finish off a three under front right. side Six back. In 32. The struggle is real. Up next, the 315-yard par 4 tent. This may be the most yeah, beloved the hole at Riviera. Short par 4 that offers so many options. Certainly drivable, but only a perfect pin drive will hold this quite green. Accessible, actually. It's this really right good. It's, it's probably the best a pin location or worse. of the week for getting to the, the pin. Right, it's me to go. So, that's going to do it for me. Um, so, join us for the back nine. Uh... You know, we could do it again, a really good shot here. But anyway, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.